Welcome back. Today we will learn about the two type of forces balanced and unbalanced. This video explains the difference between balanced and unbalanced force with lot of innovative activities and finally a tabular comparison. So let's begin the fun. Here you can see a toy car. Note down the positions of the wheel of this toy car. Observe the ribbons closely. You can clearly see that the ribbons are being pulled from both the sides. Do you see any change in the position of the car? But why didn't the car move? You already know that net force is actually the sum of all the forces acting on an object. When forces act in opposite direction, the net force is given by the difference between the two forces acting. Here you can see that F1 and F2 are the two forces which are acting in the opposite direction. As the car doesn't move, this shows that F1 is equal to F2, but these forces are acting in the opposite direction. So, F net will be equal to 0 and such a type of force is called a balanced force. Hence, we can say that balanced forces are the forces which are equal in magnitude but are opposite in direction. If a balanced force acts on an object which is at rest, the object will not move since F net is equal to 0. When the ribbons on the car are pulled from both the sides with equal force, but in opposite direction, the car doesn't move. Now let's try again. I am pulling the car from both the sides. Is there any displacement? The two forces are still acting on the car. But what is happening? You have guessed right. In the first case, the car moves forward but later it starts moving backward. Now we can conclude that the forces are not equal. In case 1, F1 was greater than F2, while later F2 was greater than F1. Both these cases are of unbalanced force, where F net is not equal to 0. So we now understand that if unbalanced force acts on an object at rest, the object starts moving in the direction of the greater force. Let's now apply force on a moving object and see what happens. Observe what happens to the speed of this car when I start pushing it. Of course, you can see that the speed increases. Let's understand, when an unbalanced force acts on an object, the speed of the moving object changes. In this case, we have seen that F2 is greater than F1. So the speed will increase if external force is applied in the direction of motion of the object, but the speed will decrease if this external force is applied in direction opposite to the motion of the object. Let us now see another case. I am now applying two forces on this car, F1 from the front and F2 from the back. Since these forces are equal and opposite in direction, let's find whether they are balanced or unbalanced. You know that resultant force or F net is equal to F1 plus F2. And since in this case, F1 is minus F2, so the net force will be zero, which proves that this is a balanced force. So we can now conclude that if a balanced force acts on a moving object, the speed of the object will not change. But if an unbalanced force acts on a moving object, the speed will either increase or decrease. After all this serious study, let's begin with the activities. You just have to observe the activities given and identify in which case balanced force is acting. You can write your answers in the comment box below. 